Alright, what's up guys? It is Killswitch and Colin Six. And you can follow us on Instagram at Killswitch Sneaks and Colin Six. That's C O L I M S K I X. Yeah. We're about to do a real versus fake comparison on the Air Jordan 4 University Blue that just came out. So here we have a fake pair, size nine and a half, and the real pair on your right, size 10 and a half. Um, and to the untrained eye, you probably wouldn't be able to tell most of the differences. Um, Cause really, if we didn't have a real pair here to compare it with, a lot of this stuff you really wouldn't be able to catch. Um, so the fakes are getting pretty good, but uh, we'll start with the box. All right, so the first thing that caught my eye was the box lids are like kind of different shades of white. This one's more like an off-white, and then this one over here is more like a pure white. So if you're ever like doing a meetup and you see that, I mean, that's pretty much a big indicator right a there. A real pair will have a pure white box lid. It should not be beige, nothing like that. It's gonna be as white as possible. Yeah. So from this angle, you can probably tell a little bit better the difference in color. This pair here, the size 10 and a half being the real pair. This pair here, the nine and a half being the fake. You can tell the real pair has a very pure white color to it on the box lid. And then on the fake pair, you can tell it's just slightly beige, just like off white a little bit. Another thing on the top of the box lid that you can tell, the shade of the Jumpman between the two pairs is slightly different as well. On the real pair, it's slightly darker. And again, this would be very hard to tell if you didn't have another pair to compare it to in person. But as you can see, the fake pair, the Jumpman is just a little bit brighter. This one's a little bit more dull. And it's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but I mean, if you had like a real pair, you'd be able to see that it's like, this is way darker and this is like a, this is like way, way brighter for real. So the next notable difference is on the box label, which whenever I'm legit checking a shoe, this is one of the first things I look at. Um, you look at this pair, the SKU, where it says CT8527400. Look at the font on that. It's pretty skinny, right? Then look at the fake pair. Just look at the difference on how bold that is. Then over here as well, um, the sizes, like the UK, the BR, Europe, all that, centimeters, I guess, um, are also not as bold. And then you check here, for some reason, the numbers are the same amount of bold. Look at that, 27 and a half versus the CM. It's like they're bolded the same. And over here, the CM is bold, but the 28 and a half is not. Now, going inside of the box, on the fake pair, for whatever reason, there's a white border on this side. Um, for some reason, there's not a border anywhere else, but on this one side, there's a white border. And then you compare that to the real pair. There are no white borders anywhere. So this is how it should be. The next notable difference between the two pairs on the inside of the box lids. So this is the fake pair here. This sticker here that comes on the inside of just about every Jordan box. <laughs> it's on the lid. On the real pair, it's not on the lid. It is within the box over here in the corner. Now the placement might not be the exact same on every pair, but the fact that it is on the lid on the fake pair, um, that could be suspicious. Then the next thing, again, this would be very hard to tell without another pair in hand compared to the shade of the real pair versus the fake pair, just like that jump man on the top of the lid is a little bit different. So on the fake pair, it's more of a bright UNC blue. On this one, it's more of a subdued powder blue color. This again being the real pair. Now, again, on the inside of the boxes, looking at the paper, comes with two different forms of paper. The cement, as you can see here, and then this random paper um, that doesn't have anything on it. Um, again, this is the real pair here, and the main difference is that on the real pair paper, 
the cement print is a little bit more subdued. And then going over here on the fake pair, you can tell it contrasts more. It's a darker, more defined shade of gray. And then looking at the other form of paper, this is literally just like a square and you can kind of see through it. It's uh, a bit translucent. Then on the real pair, it's a long rectangle and it's more like normal paper like it's opaque you can't really see through it this is my hand through the real paris paper you can barely see it then on the fake you can see right through that shit nice now looking at the actual shoes again this pair on the right being the real pair and this pair on the left being the fake pair um the first thing that caught my eye was the type of suede so on the fake pair it's a slightly darker shade on the real pair it's lighter you can probably tell just by looking at them and the texture is a little bit different like you can see the little hairs of the suede on here on the real pair not really at all it, it's a very flat type of suede it does feel very soft on both though the texture is about the same um but the look of the suede is a little bit different as you can see now going to the heels of the shoes this is probably the first thing that you should check um this is a dead giveaway look at the jump ends on both this again being the real pair look at how close the jump man's foot is on the heels to the suede look there's very little space then on the fake pair you can tell you can literally like damn near fit your finger between the suede and the foot of the jump man so look for that whenever you find a pair of these in hand because that is certainly something you can tell without having another pair to compare it to. Then look at the height from the cement on the midsole of the, the suede here. See that? It's got a good amount of space. And then you can see on the fake pair, it's slightly less space of that, that suede part there. Um, this could potentially vary by size um but that at least from what we're seeing is a pretty pretty easy way to tell now whenever i'm legit checking any shoe the first thing that i look at is always the size tag between the two pairs there aren't that many differences they're actually mostly spot on but the first thing that you can notice is the us you can see it's a pretty skinny font it should be slightly more bold than that other than that, the size tags are pretty much the same. However, there's a difference in height between the size tag and the end of the shoe, or the sock liner, I should say. Look at how much space there is there between the size tag and the top, right here. Now look at the size tag on the real pair. There's much more space between the size tag and the end of the sock liner. All right, so a few things that I noticed on the bottoms of the shoes was on the fake pair, the stars are a little bit pointy on the real pair, they're more flat. Um, some stars on the real pair are messed up, but on the fake pair, they're all like perfect. Um, another thing, the blues, like the box, they're a different shade of blue. You can pretty much tell in this one, it's more of a bright blue and this one's just like a, like a light blue kind of and then on the black part it's more shiny on the fake pair and on the real pair it's more like a matte um on the jump mans they're pretty much the same i can't really tell um and then on the white it's more glossy than the real pair real pair is more like a flat white it's kind of hard to tell on camera but you can kind of see that So this is a very small difference, but it is something to look out for on the real pair here, which is what we're looking at. Look at the top of the shoe tab. There are no specks on it, like the cement. Then look at the fake pair. The black cement print goes onto the top. Just on that top little portion, you can see there's a couple little specks. So probably the biggest dead giveaway of both of these shoes uh, is nothing on the shoes, but it's actually the smell. And any experienced uh, sneakerhead collector, reseller, whatever, 
knows that especially on a brand new shoe, you always smell it, always. Um, and of course, this will be hard to tell once they get used, but for now, you know, pretty much every pair of these that you run into is gonna be dead stock. Um, but as soon as we open up the box of the fake pair, um, this one, literally just smells like straight glue. Like if you've had a fake DS shoe before, you probably know what I'm talking about. It just smells like, like it's a super potent smell of just like glue and like chemicals straight from the Chinese factory. They don't know how to get this shit right most of the time. And it's just as nasty as hell to smell like. And literally, I mean it, as soon as we open the box, it's like the smell just kind of fills the room. Um, the real pair doesn't have much of a smell at all. Um, it'll just smell like, you know, any shoe that you walk into the mall, like going to finish line, you know, you know the smell, but it, it's not much of anything. Just, if you run into a DS pair of these, brand new pair, always smell it. Cause I've been hit with other fakes um, where I should have smelled it because that was something that was really off about it. Another thing I saw was the, the thread kind of passes the wing on both sides and on the real pair, it's just perfect. Inside the wing and the fake pair, it's noticeable. So, all right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, you know, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you guys want to see some more real versus fake videos. It is fun, uh, like educating yourself on, you know, um, how to stay away from the fakes, but it's not fun getting hit with a fake pair and then obviously getting scammed out of your money. You've been there too many damn times. Um, happens to the best of us though, especially when you buy a lot of shoes. But thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. Like you said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow us on Instagram. We're always buying and selling shoes. Uh, we're in the south side of Indianapolis area. So hit us up and let us know what you think. Peace.